Welcome to the Phase Temperance White Mage Intermediate Guide. In this video, we will cover advanced techniques to help you be a better white mage. This guide assumes that you have a basic understanding of White Mage abilities at level 80 and are looking to optimize your performance. Like all casters, White Mages should know their ABCs, that is, always be casting. However, fights will force you to move, interrupting any cast that you have going out. Luckily, White Mage has five instant cast abilities, Regen, Dia, Aflatus Solus, Rapture, and Misery. Knowing when to use your instant cast abilities in OGCDs is key, so you should try to plan ahead. If you know a movement is coming up, save your instant casts like Aflatus, Regen, and Dia for that moment, and weave your OGCDs like a size and Divine Benison into the movement. What is weaving though? Weaving is all about using your OGCDs as efficiently as possible. You want to avoid using them between your hard cast at GCDs, as this will cause clipping. Clipping is a second of lost time that could have been used for casting. Clipping may not seem like much at first, but it can add up over time and have a huge impact on your overall performance. To avoid this, use your OGCDs after your instant abilities. But which weaving ability in OGCDs should you use? Most depend on the situation, but as a white mage you have three priorities aside from healing. Keeping your Dia Dot refreshed, using a size as often as possible, and planning your Aflatus for movements and weaving, in that order. Basically, you should use Dia or Aflatus to weave in an size once it comes off cooldown. If Dia does not need to be refreshed, use an Aflatus. If neither Dia nor Aflatus are available, then you should consider clipping. In the long run, it's more important to have a size on cooldown. Aflatus is your healing savior. Think of it as a healing GCD that exchanges a bit of DPS potency for movement and weaving. Even when healing is not needed, using Aflatus instead of Dia will give you time to move and weave extra OGCDs with the least amount of DPS lost. However, Aflatus is only effective if you use the resulting Aflatus Misery at the end. Let's take a look at this example. The boss has tethered the White Mage, which means they will need to move to a pre-designated position. They continue to spam Glare while setting up for the movement. They have already reapplied Dia, and Aflatus is available. Thanks to good timing, a size is about to come off of cooldown. They squeeze in one more Glare just before moving, and then use Aflatus Rapture with a size. While the mechanic is going off, they squeeze in one more glare, and as soon as they are able to move again, they cast a Flatus Misery paired with a Divine Benison on the tank. Normally, you would want to save Misery for your party's next buff window, so you can maximize its potency. But in this particular case, it's better to use the instant GCD than not casting at all. Keep in mind that this is a high-end example that comes from knowing the fight and lots of practice. How you weave depends on the fight you're in and what the situation calls for, but the principle will always be the same always be casting. Now let's talk about the other OGCDs and when to weave them instead of a size. Divine Benison is a healthy 500 potency shield you should weave when you can as it naturally aligns with almost every Dia cast if used properly. It has the potential to save you from using up MP and a GCD for a heal that could otherwise be spent on casting more glares. Just like Benison, Tetragrammaton is a useful OGCD heal that should be used when needed or you happen to have Dia's second OGCD slot freely available. Presence of Mind should be prioritized for Glare and Holy. Try to avoid using it to cast any heals unless you are in an emergency situation. Its alignment with party buffs depends on the overall raid's timing, and if you're uncertain of when to use it, try to use it on cooldown. Asylum gives 24 seconds of regen while also buffing any heals by 10% to those standing in it. This works great when AoE heals are soon to be needed and synergizes well with other healers. Drop this on the ground when you know massive heals are about to go off. Using Benediction is very situational, but Dark Knights will love you for it. Use it depending on your style of play, but make sure that you're using it. Using Swift Cast is situational. It has lots of potential applications for extra weaving and movement, but a wary healer might hold on to it in case they need an emergency raise. In cases where you need to move and don't have an Aflatus ready, clipping Swift Cast to cast an extra glare nets you more potency than just casting Dia to move. Use it more often as you feel more comfortable with a fight. Thin Air makes all your spells cost 0 MP and should be used before high MP cost spells like Raise or Cure 3. Once you are comfortable with a fight, you should be using Thin Air whenever you can for MP management purposes. Plenary Indulgence is one of your strongest OGCD healing abilities. It has a short cooldown of 1 minute, so use it to save you from casting more healing spells. Or, 
if you can afford a free weaving slot before using Rapture. It's very useful when paired with Rapture, giving you free mobility and only 50 less potency than a Cure 3. Try using it when you know raid-wide damage is about to come out. Temperance boosts your healing by 20% and offers the party 10% extra damage mitigation. Try to use it to cover as many AoEs and tank busters as possible. One thing to keep in mind though, Temperance's 20% healing buff only applies to your global cooldowns, and does not apply to any off-global cooldown heals. Remember, all of your OGCD abilities should be weaved in with your instant casts whenever possible. Avoid clipping them between your GCDs, as that will cost you a chunk of potency that adds up over time. What OGCD you weave is entirely situational to the fight and your party's needs. A skilled white mage will be looking for every opportunity to squeeze in more DPS casts while keeping their party healed as efficiently as possible. But remember, a party that's alive is way better than what potency you can squeeze out of a couple GCDs. Keep that in mind and have fun weaving!